by the way you do things to my body The Phil Marriott. How are you, Lucci? Uh, live to LA we are. Yeah, yeah, this is live in LA. Sun shining out there. My mum said it's freezing in England at the moment. Yeah, it is. It's always freezing here, even in the summer though, isn't it? I used to stand by the radiator in my house in England with my, like, you know, 14 layers on and my <laughs> fisherman socks and go like, I'm really cold and you know, I just, all, all I want to do is eat jacket potatoes. <laughs> you want some carbs, Lucci, some carbs. Yeah. <laughs> Totally stodge it up. It's true. It's true. It's worth, yeah. oh, T- tell us who we got here. Introduce your your friends. I'm going to introduce you to. Come here. This is Alfie. Look at that. Okay, and then the other one's Ronnie Barker, and obviously <laughs> no, one, no one gets that over here. <laughs> this is Ronnie Barker. Oh, he's gorgeous too. No one gets it. Are they siblings? They're siblings, yeah. Have you so got I- Ronnie Barker on a track of yours yet? We need to get him sampled. <laughs> That's actually a good idea. I might do that. So, so much to catch up on. I, th- I think we should start with the new track, Tom Budin track, X for You. I should have done X for You. Yeah, how cool is it? It's amazing. Oh, I just love it so much. He, whenever I hear that sound, and whenever I'm singing it, and whenever I'm on stage, and that doop, boop, boop, doop, boop, comes in, I'm like, yeah, Tom. Tom's it's really good. infectious, isn't it? It really is, and it's so simple, and it's like, you know... Been minimal techno with the yeah, vocal yeah. one, obviously. Um, but I just feel like it's just got a feeling. You know, like often you don't get a feeling. He came up like with four different sounds. One was more of a housey vibe. So he had all these different sort of remixes because he's really quick and young and he's just like, you know, very, very talented. And then, and then he played that and I was like, this is it. This is just so amazing. And when you have that feeling, I have to say it's the same feeling I had as when I had I Like That. I like that. And yeah, yeah, and, and we yeah, still yeah. love that track. Well, both of those tracks, and I can't believe that Yeah, Yeah is what eleven years old now because you know, you busy. remixed it for the tenth anniversary, we, didn't you? Dave all day said, "Why don't we do a remix for the tenth anniversary?" And I'm like, "That's a really good idea." We've got some yeah. really good remixes. We've got obviously Tom Star, and I'm loving that Alex Acosta tribal mix that goes really well. Go down, goes down really well in the club. I can take it was just off the number one position, wasn't it? It was held back. Number two. Yeah, Fede Le Grand, yeah. Put your hands up for Detroit. Put your hands up. Did and you ever that... have beef with him, though? Did you have beef with Fede Le Grand for no, stealing that number position? No. No, how cool was that track? That track I know. Was just you can still DJ that track now, and it's just like, oh, yeah, because that's yeah. got a feeling. That's a brilliant, brilliant track. Tom Budin, he's, what, 20 or something? He's ridiculously young. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's what I mean. And so, like, so like, I'd be texting him, and he'll go, "Can't talk at the moment. I'm in college." So you've worked yeah. with a lot yeah. of producers. I mean, you've been working with Wolfgang Gartner and Tiesto. You've got to tell us yeah. about the Tiesto story. It's a really good introduction you have oh, yeah, to yeah. Tiesto. It's funny, actually, we're working on a new Tiesto track as we speak. We're doing, oh, doing another one. Amazing. Yeah. So I'm at the Ivy in. Uh, <laughs> In LA, oh my God, she's at the Ivy in LA. So I'm <laughs> as you do. Up, as you do. I'm all dressed up because it's my birthday. And I'm British, so I'm quite shy when it comes to sort of like pushing myself on people. I get really embarrassed. No, so, never. No, yeah, it's all embarrassing. It's, you know, as loud as I am, that sort of thing really embarrasses me. So we're having dinner, that was that. So we walked outside and my friend David, David, it's my lovely David, my siesta over there. And I, let me get these out, wait, wait stay there. Oh, Ronnie's off. <laughs> <laughs> they've seen a squirrel yeah so so we go outside and david said there's tiesto and i'm like oh yeah and he goes no you have to go and speak to him and i go no i can't i can't i'm all the quick network back. network oh, i just can't i can't all my throat closed up i was like no 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 and then he said um if you don't go and speak to him i'm going to speak to him like your mum <laughs> so so i thought okay so i went up to it i thought like, i forgot i forgot the main story so i'm sitting down at the dinner let me let me backtrack i'm sitting down <laughs> in dinner with my friend and he said, um, I was talking to this girl the other day, and I said to her, you're beautiful. And she said, yeah, I've got no panties on. And I thought, oh, that was a really cool line for um, a song. So I put it in my notes on my phone. I've got, no, uh, I've got no panties on. Just randomly wrote it down, got no panties on. Left it, carried on with the meal. Didn't think anything of it. So fast forward to the Tiesto thing outside at the IV, pushing myself. So David pushes me towards Tiesto, and then I go up to him and I go, hi. 
my name's Luke Chiana. I don't know if you know me. I did the Yeah Yeah track. Uh, it goes hard oh, with the Body Rocks track. And I love that track. Love it so much. I went, oh, that's great. Um, I'd really love to send you some acapellas. And he went, brilliant. I said, okay, well, give me your email. And so then I gave, I give him the notes, you know, and then it's got, I've got, I'm not wearing any panties. I've got no panties on. <laughs> it, he looks at it and he goes, as if, he's like, it's like as if I'm coming on to him. <laughs> I went, no, no, that's not for you. No, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you always think of that situation when you're meeting people now, when you get to meet a producer that you haven't met before? Do you think of that Tiesto moment? Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> It's like, I've learned by my mistakes. I shan't do that again. Now I try to feel casual. Like, can I send you some acapellas? And I love how you're you're so British as well. Your voice is instantly recognisable as British. And in America, they must love that. You must get so many comments about it. What's funny as well is like my, my British friends, well, a couple of them since, you know, they've been here for a few years and they start going butter. Yeah, can you um, can you pass me the, the water? And I'm like, oh, yeah, could you pass me the butter? I'm like, don't do that. That's awful, because then you're becoming like that transatlantic, oh my God, I'm making a point to keep Cockney. In fact, I'm probably going more like, oh, okay. Doing it even more so, I love it. Pre pressing your foot on the, exa on the exaggerator. Exactly, <laughs> on the exaggerator. Yeah. <laughs> At the moment, it feels like I'm doing um, some really, I'm part of some really, really cool tracks and it, and it feels like it's consistent. And you know, sometimes that doesn't happen. Do you know what I mean? Because you don't get a cool track in. So we've got the Kura track and Anjami. Then we've got another track with Will Sparks coming out called Bad Connection. And we're trying to do a tour, actually, because I've done I've, I've done far too many tracks with Will Sparks. I was going to ask you about a tour because you need to get back to the UK. I know you have been here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, they're trying, I'm going to get some more DJ gigs. Um, um, I think I've got a DJ gig in Spain on New Year's Eve. So I think they're going to try and get me some shows in Europe. Tell us know, about the DJing anyway. because this, this is a relatively new thing, isn't it? I mean, I, I know you've always been associated with dance, obviously, because you produce and write yeah. and, and, and sing on dance tracks. But the DJing oh, thing yeah. is what, a couple of years? Next. A singer said to me, who I was working with at the time, and a lot of people said to me, you should DJ over the years, but I always kept thinking I'd be looks like Abfab, you know, DJ. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Cassie, um, um, a songwriter, said to me, why are you not doing it? And I just said, oh, I don't really know. She said, well, you know, like Tiesto and Hardware and everyone singing your songs. And then, you know, you go onto YouTube and you see like 80,000 people singing your songs doing this and the DJ's doing that. And I'm thinking... She's right. And I started crying. It was like a physical reaction. I thought, you've got to do it. You know you have to do it. Because when you get a physical reaction, you just have to do it. So that's it. So I was like, right, okay. Dex, do your tracks. Get everything you need to do. Start everything you need to work on and set yourself a deadline. And then I set myself a deadline. And then I got a gig DJing and singing New Year's Eve in Mexico. Brilliant. What was the first gig like? Yeah. Were you really nervous about the first one? people and I was I was really no I was pressure styling, I was totally styling it out like I was really casual but inside I was literally crying my <laughs> eyes out you were falling apart <laughs> right there and then. But it was good it was really really cool and it was lovely to have that as your first you know did you play your own your tracks first. yeah that's the thing that's the point the purpose is self promotion and I can sing yeah. I can do it myself and that's that's what's lovely and that's what's different because you don't you don't often get that do, do, you? do you get the tendency to like you get the feeling that you want to actually sing I mean do you sing when you're playing when you're doing a DJ yeah. set oh you do so you're actually on the mic too that's what I'm saying that's the purpose of it it's like you don't often find a DJ who can get behind the mic you know you're playing your own track and you're singing I love that I don't know. I haven't seen it. So I, it's like, okay, well, that's the really lovely thing. I can sing all my own tracks and I'm there and then I can come out and sing or I can, you know, sing behind the decks. It's great. great. So what do you do when it's... you're not working? I mean, how do you, because you're always working, how do you switch switch off? Do you switch off? Lately, I've been eating a lot. Well, eating a lot? Lately, I've been eating. Have you got that <laughs> LA vibe thing going on, the gluten-free vegan? No. No. <laughs> no. So, you know, like, I, um, sometimes I do. Sometimes I'm like, like really like in the zone. Yeah. I'm like eating the yoga. Well. I'm, I'm just like, get me carbs, sour cream ruffles. Get me anything. Like I'm desperate for Walker's salt and vinegar oh. crisps. Don't sell Cadbury's ears. I know it's not very depressing, <laughs> but I know you do the vegan thing. So I'm like, 
And I think it's fabulous. And there's some amazing vegan places It's here. two years now. And do you know what? I'm never going to look back. I'm, it, I'm in it for life now. In it for the long haul. Well, I've, I did it for a year and I've never felt as good. So I think it's really fabulous that you do it. But I don't know why I went back to meat. Well, maybe you're just, because you're living in LA and you're surrounded by that, you kind of want to do the opposite because you're a bit of a punk at heart, aren't you? <laughs> I like that. But yeah, I'm rebelling. I'm rebelling against the healthiness. So what about acting? Because we know that you've done acting before. Would you no, go back I, into it? I, I, no, here they're amazing. And I just feel like um, I wouldn't be as good. I'll tell you what I'm feeling though. I'm... I'm Starting back up my art. Look, I've just made my frames. I made these. Very proud of myself. Made myself. Very, very proud of oh, myself. Oh, do you know what? I'll buy some stuff off you. I could do with a yes. bit of that here. I've got a couple of pictures up. It's ready, and I'm going to be doing epoxy resin on this. So that there's three of them, so it's going to be a trip. Do you know what? I, I, I think we should do a, a broadcast of you doing your first trip tish. Yeah. yeah. Should I put like a little GoPro on that so you can That's see it happens. The... Get there before that. anybody really else. Good. Get the exclusive. Like today I'm I'm in there before Tiesto. Got Tiesto following yeah, me on my heels, <laughs> wanting some time in Lucci, and I got there first. I love it. Exclusive. Phil Marriott. <laughs> total, totally exclusive. Oh, I'm so in love with you, Phil. Oh, yeah. Go on, pucker up. <laughs> Is that right? I love it. I love oh, you it. Don't see me now. We got the soft focus Vaseline out now. <laughs> You remember that track I did called Covered in Punk? Yeah. There was a woman said to me once, um, that was on Island Records years and years ago, Covered in Punk, brilliant track. A woman once said to me, oh, I love your track, Punk All Over Me. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>